State Senator Andy Sanborn has come into the House, and uh, he is on my schedule for 1.30 because he's uh, coming from an event and heading to an event. And uh, since we're pushing 1.30, and we want to uh, uh, facilitate uh, the Senator's time, he is here not in his capacity as one of the good guys under the Golden Dome, but uh, also a declared candidate for Congress in the 1st District. Uh, we heard earlier from Eddie Edwards. We heard that our good friend John Burt is toying around with uh, running for Congress. And, uh, well, Andy Sanborn, he's in. With that, Senator, the mic is yours. Everyone, good afternoon. How are you? Awesome. So I know there's a lot of people that want to talk. And I know you'd much rather talk to people who are strong activists with things to talk about and don't want to talk to as many candidates today, so I'll keep it very short and very sweet. First and foremost, I have to thank you. I have to thank virtually every single person in this room, because you were the people that encouraged me to run for office 10 years ago. In every election, you've been the people that have continued to encourage me to run again, to come out and hold signs for me, to knock doors for me, to give me that strength and that energy to continue to spend this time fighting for all the things that are so important to us. So again, for that, I thank you for all of your support, even Eric Eastman in his wonderful American flag jersey that he's wearing down there. Go, Eric. So as, as Rich had said, and Rich, thank you so much for the introduction, I have made the decision I'm running to send Carol Shea Porter home. I'm running to recognize the fact that after 12 years of Carol Shea Porter, it is truly time for something new and something fresh. And the other thing I've learned in the time I've spent being politically active is I think you all are looking for three things. You're looking for a proven conservative. And ladies and gentlemen, you know that I have the voting record to back that up. I am an unabashed and proud Republican who is also known as the conservative conscience for the New Hampshire Senate. Number two, as I talk to people around the state, in addition to looking for a conservative Republican, you're looking for someone that can win. And ladies and gentlemen, and Rich is like, yay. And ladies and gentlemen, you know that I actually, I actually have a history of winning. You know, I've been on the ballot for five contested races, two primaries, general elections. I'm a guy who's proven their ability to win. And it's not just the ability to win. We have to remember, for those of you who are data geeks, and I know some of the people out there are data geeks, the districts I've represented as a state senator have actually always been won by a Democrat presidential candidate. Barack Obama won, I won in that district. Barack Obama won again, I won in that district again. And in fact, even in this past election, when Hillary Clinton, waiting for the booze, when Hillary Clinton, when, when Hillary Clinton actually won the district I represent, I beat my opponent by seven points. So I have a proven ability to win even in moderate districts. Now this district, in the first con congressional district, we have to remember that President Trump actually won. This is a Republican district. This is a district that we can win, and this brings up the third point. It's not just important for us to win, it's equally important for us to have someone in the seat that can win the second time and hold the seat. And ladies and gentlemen, again, I would submit to you that I am the conservative Republican that knows how to win and then knows how to hold the seat. So with that, I would truly appreciate your consideration, and yes, I would truly appreciate your vote. With that, it's simple. AndySanborn.com. Come over to our splash page. Sign up. Come join and be part of our team. And we'd love to have you. And we'll go all the way to the end and make this seat a Republican seat again. Thank you very much. Excellent.